Hi, I'm Laurel. I'm a college student that will be talking about personal finance. My topic today is interest, what it is and why you should care. Interest is just the fee that you pay when you borrow someone else's money. Principal is another key term. It's the amount of money you borrowed in the first place. Interest rate just means the amount of interest charge shown as a percentage of the principal. There's a very easy formula that you can use to calculate the amount of interest. That is, interest equals principal times rate per period times time, or I equals PRT. Let's take a look at an example. You borrow $1,000 at 6% interest per year for two years. Run that on your calculator and see what you get. You should get $120. Let's look at one more. $1,000 at 15% interest for two years. You should come up with $300 in interest. Well, that was easy, but odds are pretty good that your interest payments aren't calculated using this method. Probably, your credit card company or bank uses compound interest. With compound interest, interest charge is added back to principal, so you're being charged interest on interest. The formula for compound interest is easy. Start with principal, multiply that times 1 plus the rate as a decimal over the number of compoundings per period to the power of the number of compoundings per period times the number of periods. This gives you the total amount, interest and principal, together. Why don't we do a quick example? Here's that $1,000 loan at 6% for two years. Now let's do the same loan with compound interest. Just plug the numbers into a calculator, a spreadsheet, anything like that. You should get $1,127.16 total. This doesn't make a very big difference between the two, only $7.16. But the amount of difference will increase. Just watch what happens if you hold on to that same loan for a long time. The amount of simple interest increases at a steady pace. The compound interest grows by an ever-increasing amount each period. At the end of 12 years, under compound interest, you owe as much in interest as you borrowed in the first place. Of course, this kind of growth assumes that the loan is just sitting there, not being paid off. And after 50 years, the amount of interest owed under simple interest versus the amount of interest owed under compound interest? Almost $16,000. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. And please subscribe.